Hello everybody, it's Addison Brianna here and I am back with another video. If you guys have been loving my videos lately, make sure that you hit that like button, comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Today's stretching tutorial is one using a yoga block, so you're going to need one of those. We're going to be stretching our lower body for a nice feel-good hamstring and hip stretch. So to get yourself situated, lift your hips, place the yoga block under your lower back so that you can comfortably straighten your legs towards the ceiling. You shouldn't have to use your abs too much or at all to hold your legs here. They should just float there. Take a deep breath in through your nose and an exhale, centering you, yourself into this practice. Deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, bend your knees, your hands on the tops of your knees. Begin to take some big circles um, with your knees. And if you need to adjust the block at any point in this practice, go ahead and do so. Big circles up and around for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, and one, hold it. And we're gonna go ahead and switch directions. So press your knees away from you, out and around, just like that. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find center, extend both legs up towards the ceiling. Flex and point your toes. Flex and point. Flex and point. Straightening your legs a little bit more each time. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point and begin to take that motion into some circles. Roll out your ankles however it feels good to you here. From here, bend both knees, hug your left knee into your chest, and extend your right leg long. Couple options here, you can either take your hand to the inside of your ankle, as I'm showing here, or you can hug your knee straight into your chest. So find one that works for you, and we're allowing gravity to do the stretch here. That's why we added the block, so that the right leg floats above the ground, stretching your hip flexor on the right side even more deeply. Full breath in through your nose. And out. I'm showing you the other way. You can hold your left knee on screen. Feel free to alternate as feels good to you. It's always good to do all variations of a stretch. Gently switch sides. Right knee in, left leg long. Same thing you did on the other side, do it here. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out. If you'd like to switch up the grip that you have on your top knee, on your right knee, go ahead and do so.
One more full breath here. And you'll begin to bring your legs together straight up towards the ceiling again. Grab hold behind your left shin or underneath your left thigh. The higher up you are on your leg, the harder the stretch will be, the lower down, the less intense it will be. Hold here, both legs as straight as possible. If you like to play around with pointing and flexing your toes or circling your ankles, that's a really good thing to do here. Right leg up, left leg down, switch sides. Try to take about the same intensity of stretch on each side. We're aiming to even out our body and our flexibility here side to side. From here, switch and switch, keeping your legs straight with me. Switch, 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 switch. Hold your left leg, right leg is down. And hold your right leg, left leg is down. Both legs up towards the ceiling. Adjust yourself on the block if needed. From here, knees bend, knees are wide, hands are on the insides of your ankles. Let your knees fall out to either side. We're coming in on the last two minutes of our practice here. This is just a quick stretch. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale, see if you can widen your knees a little bit more, intensify the stretch. If you want to take it even further, straighten your legs straight out to either side, stretch your inner thighs, maybe circle your toes a little bit. Last full breath in and out. We're going to take a big windmill. Left leg comes up, windmill out. Right leg comes up. To the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. To the right. And to the left and to the right. From here, both legs wide out to either side. Go ahead and bring your feet down to the floor. Lift your hips, remove the block, and set your back flat down on the mat. Find any little movements you need here until you settle in to a final resting posture with your feet together and your knees wide. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video and flowing with me. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, all of those things, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.